the ship. Well, let's start you off on our film, our big guys' tour guide. And we'd like to try our five new flavors. We have two collections here, the cherry lime, the vintage cola, the orange cream, and the vanilla cream. Mm -hmm. You can try them all, you can try them all twice, you can try them all five times. Nice. There's no rush. I'd like to try root this. Beer. Yeah, I want to try that root beer. And then, oh, what helps real quick, if you go like this, then you'll get your fingers all sticky. Oh, good. So I can do that. <laughs> but uh, in here, you can take as many pictures as you'd like. I'm filming it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Ooh, that is good, eh? That root beer? <laughs> Which one did you just try the the cherry lemonade? That one's not bad. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> so where are you guys from? Uh, Niagara Falls, Canada. Yeah, right by Toronto, yeah. Wait, yeah, I used to live in Pennsylvania. Oh, nice. That was like six hours from it. Yeah? Yeah. How do you like it up there? Well, I love it. Um, you know what County is? You know what I was like three hours from I was an hour below you. 45 Grove City. You know Grove City? Um, that's straight south of here. Mm. Well, here it was like right here. I was like right there. Yes. We're not too far from here. Not three hours. hours. Good deal. Two and a half. I kind of like this one. Oh, so you were like four hours from me then? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Warren County. It's the county right below. Period. I kind of like that cherry limeade and that orange cream. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> we're full now. Yeah. Alright. Nice. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> well, actually, I'm going to start you guys off the last station first. Okay. Just because it's easier than going back and forth. Yeah. Unless you guys would rather do that. No. No, you show us what, what you do, man. Alright, well, this is actually called the candlelight station. What happens is they'll come down the conveyor belt, the bottles, they'll spit on the turntable. Yeah. We'll have a person here and a person over there. We'll each grab four bottles and stick them right at the candlelight station. Oh, nice. Now, out of these four bottles, actually only one of them is correct. One, two, three, four. You guys want to take a guess on which one that is? I'll say the cool one. Yeah, me too. Well, I'll start with number one. One is actually not correct. It's actually way too light. Mm -hmm. um, if you ever been to a restaurant and it tasted really flat, the soda, mm -hmm. it's just like flavored water, that's what you're going to have here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Four is actually way too dark. It's literally oh, all syrup. Yeah. If you look at the top up here, Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then you put up to the candlelight station, you can't see through it, so if there's any foreign objects, we wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah. Now to two and three, two is actually the correct one. Oh. Three is the right color, you can see through it, but it's too full. Too full. So oh, okay, yeah. really hot or cold environment. Yeah, would it would be oh, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hmm. Now, we bottle every four to six weeks, we try to anyway, and we bottle the triple X root beer and the Suncrest orange juice. We bottle the 10 ounce returnable bottles, so if you guys ever come across any, yeah. feel free to bring them in and we'll exchange them. Okay. That's a long way to Yeah, it's a long, really long drive <laughs> to bring back a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have any questions too? So every four to six weeks? We try to anyway. Yeah. Lately yeah. we've been how many really cases? slow. How many cases? Yeah. Um, it all depends on how many we get back. Like for yeah. example, if you look back there, those empty cases are the ones we have to fill. Yeah. Those full ones are still ones we have full from yeah. last time. Yeah. So nice. we might not even bottle this month. We didn't bottle last month either. Yeah. yeah right? And this is still like the original stuff that was used? Or? Yep. That's awesome. It's still the original stuff yeah. and we still use it until today. Yeah. today. That's awesome. It really is. If you guys want to, since you're recording, probably talk slower or faster. No, do whatever. I'm even trying to keep your face out of it so that way you don't feel uncomfortable. Oh, <laughs> you can if you want. Put it on YouTube. I'll be famous. Oh, okay, yeah. I probably will. You know that? <laughs> well... This is the Miller Hydro 50. It's the bottle washer. Yeah. What we do here is we'll pick up four bottles at a time, mm -hmm. stick them on the conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. They'll go through to one of their portals. They get knocked over into their side, and they go through to one of those honeycomb shapes. Nice. 
Oh, I see. They just go right in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's crazy. You got any questions on that part? Nope. All right. I don't really have many questions. I just want to see it all. <laughs> well, this is the side of the Miller Hydro 50. As you can see in the diagram, about the bottom of it too. Yep. They go there. They start standing up. They yeah. get knocked over. They yeah. get around. And they're upside down, so that way hot water can get hit on them, and anything that's in there will melt and fall right down. That's and wild. The whole process takes about 45 minutes from start to finish. You guys want to guess how many bottles you hold? Do I got to count I them? I got to count them fast. So let's yeah. say. Uh, I'm going to vote about 100. 225. I'll actually hold 1,980. Holy really? shit, really? <laughs> yeah. I gotta bleep that out on YouTube. <laughs> <There's more laughs> over a thousand? On that. Yeah, over a thousand, eh? That's crazy. Yeah. And the Miller Hydro 50 was actually made in the 1965. We didn't get it until 1993. And Mr. Clarkson was so excited about getting it, he actually had to cut a hole in the wall just yeah. to be able to get it. Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. So He's still around. Yeah, he's still there and operating. Really, eh? Nice. He works there. Oh, yeah. Still. He's actually good for that. He was just in the sunshine. Oh, really? You didn't meet him? No. Um, I can see if you guys. That'd be awesome. I've known about this place for years. Eh? This guy is a fanatic. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll talk to him and see if we can be <laughs> Just shake yeah. his hand. That's it. No, I don't want to intrude on anybody's <laughs> life either. Yeah, you know? Yeah, that'd be awesome. This is the end of the Miller 150. This is where the bottles are going to come out. Yeah. Inspect. Now we're looking for any chips or cracks or any yeah. objects that have notes or yeah. stuff in them. And if there is, we're just going to. You guys don't want people keeping their bottles. Um, so they well, get returned from all over North America? It's not really that we don't want them to keep them, it's that we, they don't make the 10 ounce turtle bottles anymore. Yeah. So it's hard, we can't make yeah. them. Yeah. So if we return them so we can make them. Yeah. The machinery is so old it doesn't do any other size. Yeah. So, I see, yeah. Yep. But after they get inspected, they come down here to the CM320. Now, the CM320, it has the three heads of syrup, 20 heads of carbonated water, and it's got three heads of caps. Oh, now, yeah. what it'll do is it'll come around here, and they'll get yeah. a shot of syrup, and it'll go on the rising plates, and it'll get filled with carbonated yeah. water. It'll come over here and get capped. And it actually gets capped with 100 pounds of pressure. Really? So if we did miss any chips or cracks over there, it will explode. Nice. Yeah. And this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Oh, okay. It hasn't been mixed yet, so that's why yeah. it doesn't look right. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> You're in that factory, aren't you? <laughs> now this, well, I guess this is actually our newest piece of machinery. This is our dater. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It comes right down here, gets a nice swipe of color. Yeah. We change it every time we bottle. That way we know what's old, what's new, what needs to be sold, and what we can hold on to for a while. Oh, okay, I see ya. So That's every one funny. that goes out has this on and they wipe that off before we ship it. It it gets that so they know too. Yeah. And um we would just stamp it, but these bottles I think they were made in the 60s. So if we stamped it every time we bottled it, I mean, this thing would be full stamped. Yeah. really hard to yeah. find the date. It would just yeah. be ugly. Yeah, yeah. So it makes more... Just a little yeah. swipe on the cap and you're good. Mm -hmm. Nice. But yeah, after they get their... Ingenious. Yeah. <laughs> after they get their swipe, they come down here. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but to properly mix a soda before we had machinery, there'd be a guy who would just spin the bottle around three really? times. Really, eh? Yep. And that got and really I'm, tiring. Not a drop on the sore shoulder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably make a lot of muscle. Right? Yeah, exactly. But that got really tiring. People didn't want to do it anymore. Yeah. So they machine. This is the 160 mixer. Yep. Right. Tim, you know you go. I know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> this is the 160 mixer. What happens here is the bottle will go in one of their portals. And they have a 360. They'll get pushed over as the second one comes in. They'll do a 360. And they'll get pushed over again. And they'll do a 360 again. Now, when the fourth bottle comes out, the first bottle will go out. And when the fourth bottle comes in, the first one will go out. And it goes to the candle station. Nice. So this is where it actually gets mixed right here then? Yep, and it just does the circle. I see, yep. Yeah. That's wild. And this was made in the 1920s, and it's actually our oldest piece of machinery we have in the factory. Really? It's kind of track it down. It's amazing. Some or no, that's pretty well it though, yeah, it's pretty pretty short line really. Oh yeah, it actually I'm just waiting to hear it and as soon as I hear all this I haven't bottled yet, because I've actually just started three weeks ago. Okay. 
So hopefully we'll Richard be doing one of this uh, month yeah. and I'll be able to try. You'll get to see it, yeah, okay. yeah. We actually have tours on bottling day too. Yeah. So if you guys end up coming back down here. Yeah, this is probably like my only opportunity to be here, so I made him drive two hours to bring me here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here to hook up machinery at a factory. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Good deal. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. I like that even so all the caps in there. Hopefully we get it tonight. Hopefully we still get it today. Oh, and if you want to see, I'll see anything you're willing to show me. Right, we're about to pack back up there. Yeah. You see that big? Okay, so I'll let you know the one. Like yep. That's where we're gonna put the syrup in. Okay. Oh, okay. And. Uh, it just uses gravity and just gets funneled right down. Nice. Oh, I see, like right down here. What's that? That's the that's the syrup. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna come right down here, right? Where it is the sugar? Sugar next up top. Yep. There's a piece of sugar. There's a lot of other ingredients. Yeah, when making the syrup, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And it just gets mixed in there and washed. I actually made syrup a couple of days ago. I made the cherry lemonade. It was actually pretty intense. You would not believe how clean you have to be about it. Like cleaning it takes longer than actually making it. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. That's amazing. But that's the line. Um, no, it's I said it's a pretty short line, <laughs> eh? Really, it's neat. You guys want to show all this? Oh yeah. Old Bill was uh, standing in front of this horse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to tell you where we got the name, where it was invented. There's like a warehouse back here. So the new owner wasn't the inventor? Nope. Um, but actually, the company got passed down. This is the fourth person that's been passed down. Oh, is it? Yeah. It so where did it start? When did it start? The bottling? Yeah, the bottling. It was in the 1880s. 1880s. Oh, yeah. so That's what I thought it was 1880s. You wouldn't be the owner. No. <laughs> um, when we actually, I'll tell you more about that inside, but if you want me to tell you a little thing so you can record it. Yeah, that's cool. Um, when Sam Houston Crown actually brought the bottom, double bottom works here, we, there was no machinery. So in the soda shop, I don't know if you saw that big wheel or not. Yeah. But that's what they used to turn it, and the soda shop was actually near the big loft. That's where someone would pour the syrup down, they would use the gravity to come down. Oh, nice. That was the actual factor, that little tiny area. Yeah, eh? Nice. So. Then we improvised and came over here. Sweet. But if you guys... Where do we go next? Else, oh, uh, the next is the museum, but we actually don't allow photography.